Well, we got a we got a big mm -hmm. car mm -hmm. and we got a big lot. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if there's one thing I've learned about this show is a little more room helps. Yes. <laughs> because 100%. Yes, this next vehicle that we got, it is a 2005 Cadillac Escalade limo. <laughs> So what could be worse? Uh, bigger? Bigger is definitely worse, so let's <laughs> do bigger that. Bigger is worse. Hopefully doing something cool with it. Getting bigger as we get closer. So uh, a little more power than um, some of our other V8s we've worked with in the past. <laughs> it's got all-wheel drive. Terrible for drifting. This is not a rally car by any means. When we neutral drop it, we're going to try to leave the transmission on the ground today. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to send these drive shafts straight into orbit. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing, man. No, I've never been in one of this big before. Yeah, this is the height of luxury right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we have to leave all this stuff, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's gonna take limo. away from the whole meaning of the limo. All right, you gonna hang out back here? Get up there, I'm pouring myself a cocktail. Be careful, man. Can you hear me back there? Uh, yeah. All right, fire away. Oh my God, this thing feels so heavy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like a boat. <laughs> you know, it looks really weird oh back here. Oh my God, it's dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, at least it's buggy. I'm gonna lock him up, all right? Hit it. Here we go. Lock him up. <laughs> Everything it says. All right, ten four. Oh, good it's buddy. Back. It's back now. <laughs> oh, come on! Why does this thing keep doing this? Well, that's the concerning. Yeah, if you cut the wheel past it, like a certain point, it just cuts all power. <laughs> <laughs> we got her back. Oh, we gotta try the e-brake. Yeah, yeah, get those rears locked up. There she goes. Here we go. <laughs> Are you hitting it? He breaks on the floor. <laughs> so it, it works do, good. It didn't do anything. I'm going to roll past and just put it in park. <laughs> hey, there it is. Yo, this thing sucks. This thing is terrible, dude. Oh, oh my god. We Wait, why are we high-fiving? Because it's that bad. Because it's that bad. That's why. I don't know, this might be the one car that doesn't drift. Maybe. We'll see. I hope not. <laughs> Welcome to my new shop. It is incredible, I love it. It's the first time I've actually gotten to build my own shop from the ground up. And you know, one of the big things I wanted to do was just to have a lot of open space. I wanted to have a side yard and a backyard. I wanted to have the rig on site. And then you know, some of the other things we did to make a lot of space was put in these lifts, just an incredible amount of space picked up just by putting that into the shop. This is the new home, this is the new garage. And if it was up to me, I'd stay here forever. It's been a long two weeks, but it's gonna be worth it. Hey, can you uh, spot me? Yeah, you're gonna need some help. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. Oh, uh, you can handle it. I can handle that thing. You can handle this thing, all right? Pull forward, crank it left. All right, yeah, keep going. You can swing it back about a foot. All right, stop, back forward. Oh, hey! there he is. <laughs> You guys are in the limo business, huh? You got it. Well, I mean, we heard you were coming, we're so we wanted to we're get prom the right now, kind dude. of ride for you. <laughs> You're doing prom rides, seriously? Doing prom rides. That makes me want to go back to high school, kind of. It doesn't go anywhere without a limo. That's no. true. <laughs> Not now. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You know I live right down the street. I know. Yeah. I uh, wanted to get kind of down in the neighborhood, meet some of the neighbors, so glad you stopped by. Yeah, I wanted to come by and check it out before you got kicked out. Yeah. Well, you know. yeah, very good. Basically, just got wrapped up last week. Like, we've just been thrashing on it to make room for these big, crazy projects that we're doing. But, uh, yeah. this is sweet. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's really nice. You put this together so fast, too. Been thrashing on it. So, it's, uh, it's the first time I ever built my own shop from the ground up. How much time do you have to put that rig together? 
Well, a few days. Five, five days? Yeah. Maximum. Three, five. And what? We're, we're halfway Today through is one day, day one. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. So we actually have like four and a quarter days left. This is a big ass limo, though. <laughs> like with the tariffs going on with China and everything, the amount of metal that you oh, have that's here. It. And uh, this is well, the I'm amount of Bondo as well, I would really? say. <laughs> oh, it is. Look at all that. Hop in, sir. Yeah. Wow. Your ride awaits you. So we got a couple ideas for Damn, this thing. Uh, this is awesome in here, <laughs> actually. Why does this course. make me want a cranberry and vodka? I know. <laughs> this is kind of like a lower back tribal. A little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's a late teenage mistake mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, we got plenty of glass, you know, it's safety first for when um, you know we're throwing it around the track. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be gnarly. So what are you gonna do to it? Um, oh, yeah, I'm kind of curious. We're doing supercharger, get a Vortec on there. We got some serious power because it's too freaking big. You couldn't pick one that was like higher off the ground? I know. Well, we I are going to lower it. We're going to lower it. Oh, OK. Lower center of gravity. Okay. Definitely got to make it stiffer. And then I think the tires, wheels and tires, lower profile. And it's all wheel drive. Yeah. What? Yeah, we got to eliminate that. We need a bigger rear end gear. Yes. And new transmission, get to rear wheel drive. We need a high style torque converter. Yeah, that That'll push it up a lot. We will strengthen the drive shafts so they don't go through the floor and rip oh, my yeah, legs off. like four or five of those under there. There are a lot of drive shafts. Yeah. Like if it lets go, it's just going to twist the thing in half, yeah. right? Whatever. All right, so a uh, ballistic blanket on the <laughs> yes, floor yeah. in the back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all set. No, seriously, are you, you're taking passengers in this when you do it. Yeah, I'll be back there. This might yeah. be the worst idea yet. This could be the best idea yet. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, all right, buddy. Tanner. Yeah, Thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah, appreciate stop it. Stop by any time, yeah. man. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Catch you later. There you go. Watch your side. Hey, this thing's not going to fit. We have to move everything. We got, we got the boys moving all the toolboxes. It's not even going to fit. <laughs> you think this is going to lift it up? Don't even try. I don't want to break this thing in half. All right, well, first things first, we're breaking the engine down, trying to make room, because we got a supercharger going on. We got headers going in. We got a couple other parts going in the engine bay. So let's Get go. Get to it. Hey, you guys want to grab a jack? Oh, yeah, that, I know. Was... I'm pretty sure it just did this. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it did. Oh, oh my God. It's uh, splitting. <laughs> it's splitting. We got to act fast. I beat the system. It's pretty rock solid. It's good. Just about ready to pop this uh, rear cover off, drain the oil, and we're going to oh. get it ready for uh, Jimmy to start changing the rear gear. We got one piece out. Woo! You. It's pretty funny talking underneath the car, but we're like, it's like 40 feet away. Hey! <laughs> what are you eating? I had a Pokeball. What's your name? <laughs> I was thinking maybe bigger rear brakes. Wow, these are monsters. Okay. These, yeah, are, these, these are big. But this looks pretty monster. This vehicle is all wheel drive. That's not going to work for us. I'm going to pull the front axles out, the front dip out. All right, go wheeling out of there. Oh, I'm wheeling, dude. dude. Oh, bring a wheel. Golden boy. We can change the ring gear, and then we can change the pinion gear as well. Put it all back together, make sure that our tons are tight. Might be the quickest one yet. First one never got done. Second one took like four days, and this one took <laughs> maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Do these it. are our new drop spindles. You can see that this used to be down here. So it's a whole new cast thing. It moves the whole hub up, so it actually lowers the vehicle down without changing the springs or shocks or anything. Geometry so, all works properly, doesn't mm -hmm. change the camber rate as the mm -hmm. suspension travels. Mm -hmm. And and they look cool, and they're super heavy. Super heavy and cool. Mm. Oh, I like that idea. Fix it. Guess what? No more traction control. <laughs> Woo! Oh, no. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> there she goes. That's I the like hit we're that. going for. So this is our high stall torque converter. It's one of the things that we learned about in the last build with the dunk. Very important piece to get Very these things important. We got a 3,800 on this bad yeah. boy. So the RPM is going to whip up, and then at 3,800, this thing will come into action and get those tires spinning. So torque is 35 foot-pounds. Adjustable, little thing that I learned way back in the day. A little flathead job in there, and tune in the 2-3 shift. What? Yeah. Good thing we'll never get to that. Uh, <laughs> we don't even care about third gear <laughs> or second. I don't know. We were kicking second in the dunk. It was actually. 
It was good. All right, hot stuff. Uh, yeah. Quit reading. More working. Coming down. Bye. Oh, what's the bummer? That one? What's the paint? Which one? What's the paint? Hang on, still having clearance issues. You guys ready to do your morning what? Not workout? In... Jeez, what are you doing? <laughs> Is that a big piece of hardwood? Holy that's, shit. That's excessive. <laughs> good grief. So, transmission's bolted up, torque converter clearance is good. Everything's looking pretty rock solid. Rock solid's great and all, but we still got day jobs to think about. The FD season's creeping up fast, and Ryan and I still gotta finish up these pro cars. Turk and Dom are trying to outdo my livery. Good luck with that one. Dominic and I are trying to match the blue on Chris's car here for the blue that's gonna be on my car. That's the closest. We got it, I think. And Darren and I are fine-tuning the turbo plumbing on this GTR engine. Getting nice, cool air down here on the bottom, out front, away from the tire spray. Yeah, this will look sick. We're all getting really close to track ready. Could not be more pumped for Long Beach. This is what we're doing now, playing with toys. So we have nothing, to do, nothing better to do. That's it, dude. We can make this drift way better. We don't have a, we don't have a little vice, do we? Everywhere, bro. Job done. Oh, shit. I lied. Now the job's done. Let's put the drive shaft in this thing so I can get some measurements so I can get it to the guy in the morning. Didn't we already freaking do that like four hours ago? I have to put another carrier in it and get a whole nother drive shaft made that connects yeah. to this. Guess drive what? Shaft. We're putting another drive shaft in this thing. <laughs> Not only are we gonna add a fourth. There weren't enough. Fourth carrier <laughs> bearing. Why? There's gonna be five drive shafts in this thing. Oh my god. I sent it to the guy and he's like, Apparently wait, 20 inches longer? So I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh man, he's like. You might need to add a carrier. I was like, well, I got news for you, pal. <laughs> Guess what? I already got three. <laughs> Supercharge. <laughs> er. Supercharger. This is where the real power lies. This is what's going to get the job done. Oh, man, is this thing going to fit? It's like tight, right? Yeah. It's, tight it's, it's is right. Fit, yeah. Boom! There she is. All right, grab the instructions. What's next? How much oil is it supposed to have? In, uh... Caps lock. Do not overfill. Three exclamation points. <laughs> this is going great. It's uh, going 100 freaking percent, dude. I'm going to fight someone for the ladder real soon. <laughs> <laughs> My knee was really starting to hurt, though. I didn't even break. <laughs> good exit. Is that a good dramatic exit? It really was. <laughs> Check out this cooler, Jimmy. All right. I like that right. color. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock a couple holes through this thing, take these little uh, plastic fittings that we have, put those right in there. We're going to fill this thing full of ice water, put the pump on there, and just circulate ice cold water through that air to water intercooler. This thing is going to go way up in the front, so I can fill it with some beverages while I'm partying in the back of this limo. Down to the wire. Jimmy's finishing up the exhaust, which should be pretty easy. We're gonna do a sick little dump out, little dump true dual sitch, Ooh. if you will, right? Get a deep throat on this thing. good. Back to it. Big day. Big day. Uh, Big day I'm today. Find myself a seat. <laughs> Dude, this would be like a sickest stack. Well, we got <laughs> 10 of them. Jimmy. Uh, be like probably in this area. Yeah, it's gonna be like more, more this area. Jimmy's Just, coming up with some real redneck ideas. Oh yeah, hey. as as usual. 
That's where I'm from. I know. <laughs> a little step for the step, is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. We got 10 of these. What? So is that the plan? We're gonna throw the, we're gonna throw the redneck tips on? Yeah, yeah. Dude, what if we do four of these pipes like this? Oh my God, Forsberg, oh. get over here! <laughs> yeah, what up? <laughs> Where's the whole deal? New idea! New idea! Oh, dude, are we going up? You know how many pipes we have? Oh, oh dude! <laughs> All right, can't open the door anymore. It's stupid you enough that I your way love into it. it. This is what we're doing. My vote is Zoomies. Zoomies. My vote Zoomies. Can we stand around and look at the cool job happen? <laughs> Burn away. Looks like the uh, zoomy tubes are lining up just like we expected them to. <laughs> As if this thing needed to be any bigger. Now it's two feet wider. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is something that we've been waiting on for a little bit. Actually, been putting a lot of effort into this. This is my very first custom billet aluminum handbrake handle. It is a design that I came up with all on my own based on some other handbrakes I've seen in the past. The very first prototype went into the race car for Irwindale last year, had zero problems with it. The uh, biggest vehicle this will probably ever go into is right behind me, so let's get it in there. This thing is the height of luxury, so we want to make sure that all these pieces get back in there. That is rock solid, man. <laughs> I'm really pumped on that for no reason. About time, bro. Shaft Mastin. <laughs> Well, here we are, final day of the build. We're, we're almost there. The final parts for the build have arrived. Uh, getting the drive shaft in, so the drive chain's all hooked up. We got our new section of drive shaft this morning. Drilled a couple holes for the new carrier. Gonna rip this sucker in there, so it's one less thing we have to deal with today. I never said this was gonna be exciting. And then basically just go through the engine bay, make sure that our supercharger and intercooler stuff is all tight, Yep. ready to rock, and uh, Fire it up. maybe we can put this thing on the ground. Yeah. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, too. So we've been going through a couple different ideas for how to get springs on this big, weird vehicle. And we actually just had these springs sent over in a ride share from Eibach. We measured the ID and the length, and we came up with a spring that is three times stiffer than what's in there now. Oh, fully seated blue. And then for the front, since it's a torsion arm and there is no uh, good place for a spring, the guy came up with this idea. I've never even seen these before, but they're called bump springs. So these guys will slide over the factory shock. Look at that little coil over, man. It's just adorable. While Ryan finishes up the springs, we got Darren over on the ECU wiping out that factory tune so we can get a fresh one in there and give that supercharger all the fuel it needs so we don't blow this motor up. We're also gonna rip off these stock 17 inch wheels and put on Icon Alloy 20s to shorten up the sidewalls and stiffen things up quite a bit. Just these last few things, we're gonna be ready to fire it up. It's a freaking limo! Look at that, she's pretty stiff! Pretty stiff! Way better than before. Come on, fire this thing up! I wanna hear flame shoot out of it. Ready? Yes! Hey. Get that fuel up, dude. Prime it a couple times. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, you gotta get some fuel in them rays. Rise, chicken. Rise! It's rumble. So really good. It's a rumble in the jungle. <laughs> oh. Come on! It could be running out of freaking gas. There's 30 feet of line on this thing. Three gallons in the fuel rail. 
It, it like kind of did make a gurgly noise on the Hey, glass. It's off the. It came it's up off, off of e. the empty. Why didn't you tell us it was on E, Tourism. Darren? Hey, I can. Uh, Sounds like keep a tuner's problem. Tuna. <laughs> no yeah. crust. It might need a retune, but it's running. It sounds really good. And she's on fire. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of oil on there. All right. Well, we're going to clean the tune up on this thing and wrap this thing up and get ready to take it out on the track. It's getting worse. So picture this, you're an aspiring pro drifter, but you're currently still a limo driver. You get an opportunity that's huge. You pick up a three-time champion, Chris Forsberg, and you get a chance to drop him off at his private jet. You gotta show him what you're working with. This is just a big moment for me. I'm gonna ask him if I can do some performance stuff and just show him my driving technique, and there he is. All right, I gotta go open the door for him. Pro drift driver, three-time champion, Mr. Forsberg? Oh, yeah. Hi, hey. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit of a driver myself. Do you mind if I show you something on the way to the airport? Yeah, that sounds good. In this thing? Yeah, in this thing. All right. Yeah, let's see what you got. Okay. Oh, man. I'm stressing. I oversold this. Brace yourself. Oh, God. The thing actually hung out. I was crossed up. It drifted, <laughs> so we got that out of the way. But the power steering That's went wild. down. Shredded the belt. Ah, oh, shredded the belt. But that was pretty sick. <laughs> that was pretty sick. We have a spare. So maybe just run it a little loose so it slips. OK. So 100% uh, success, as you can see. It freaking drifted. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, melted the belt. Typical supercharger problems. We do have a spare. Quick fix. We can get back up and running. Turk lost power steering, but we were ripping it for a it while was, there, dude. It was drifting. Dude. It felt good. It was crossed up. I was in some uh, some counter steer. Yeah. Third time's a charm, man. <laughs> yeah, we really nailed it on, a, on the high stall converter and transmission deal. <laughs> Plus, this thing is 40 feet long, so I think we extra yeah. nailed it. It's pretty smooth <laughs> in the back. You're working a front end, so you're constantly trying to turn back into it to keep the momentum of the rear, because as soon as you turn into it, all that momentum swing, just you lose it. It's super insane. fast. You did pretty good, but uh, you know, quit screwing around and give me to my plane. All right, let's do this. Yeah.
want to ride my plane or what? Hang out Get in the back right Why now! Why would you wait? Get in this thing! Let's see what you got, driver! Safety that. Yeah, I was leaning on those things pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, the whole time. There's no doubt about it. This thing drifts and it drifts big. You want to talk about confidence building? Whipping around 30 plus feet and who knows how many pounds with this much ease is absolutely bonkers. As difficult as the delivery truck was to get sideways, this bigger beast proves one thing. Big doesn't have to mean bad. It can also mean badass. <laughs> Yo! This is the plane you got for me? That's the plane. Yo, forget that thing. This thing's way better than that. You can get me faster than this, baby. All right. Let her rip, bud. Yo, tug of war. <laughs> oh, shepherd's pie, huh? <laughs> it's like one of those in nail. Forget that. Like, How do you get it apart? How many more uses can we get out of these? <laughs> I have a question. <laughs>